Good morning everyone it's 8 am in the morning and i am here with the morning tales for june 8 2019 in this video i'm going to discuss about the important charges which have been removed by rbi the new president for the united nations general assembly what is the rank of delhi in terms of traffic and what is india's stand on the first sdg gender index so do watch the video till the end as i have one question for you at the end of the video Also I believe that you are preparing well for the NABARD grade A and grade B examination the exam is just about to happen and we have released 10 mocks for phase 1 and 5 mocks for phase 2 which are available for triple 9 rupees now the gross amount for the same is 1500 rupees but you can avail the coupon code mocks m o c k s mocks and then you can get the get these mock tests for triple 9 rupees So beginning with the first question so what is the rank of india in the sustainable development goals gender index 2019 now this question is very very important from any exam point of view reason being it is the first time or we can say it's the maiden index with respect to the sdg gender index now coming to the india's rank on this index so india is ranked at the 95th position and with a score of 56.2 Now, when we are talking about the score, so scoreboard ranges from zero to hundred, and as per this index, no country has achieved the hundred percent goal of achieving the gender equality. Also, as the name suggests, the SDG Gender Index. So, this gender uh, index measures the methods or steps which have been taken by the communities or the uh, government in the country towards the gender commitments with uh, with respect to the internationally set targets. Now we talk about the top country, so that is Denmark with eighty nine point three score out of hundred, followed by Finland. And here you can find the list of the lowest ten countries as per this index. As I just told you that fifty six point two is the scoreboard or scoreboard of India, so it means that it is among the forty three countries which fall in the very poor category. So India falls in the very poor category in the SDG Gender Index two thousand nineteen. Also this index has been measured by the equal measures 2030 it has been measured by the equal measures 2020 2030 which is the partnership of various global organizations so it's important to remember about this sdg gender index and india's rank with respect to uh, this index this might come in the nabard examination though it's the recent one but it can come in the examination Now moving on to the next question so which of the following city has been or considered as the most congested city according to the world traffic index 2018 now uh, we have discussed about the sdg gender index that was important now this world traffic index has been released and as per this the first country the first rank has been given to mumbai so mumbai has been named as the most traffic congested city in the world according to this study So the study includes four hundred and three cities. So out of four hundred and three cities across the fifty six countries in the world, and Delhi, New Delhi is at the fourth position. Mumbai is at the first position. You must remember about these two positions because these two are among the top five most congested cities in two thousand eighteen. Now, what is this percentage? So, this percentage means that the person in traveling in Mumbai is spending sixty-five percent extra time when he is moving from one place to another, or we can say when he is stuck in, or he or she is stuck in traffic. And similarly, when we talk about New Delhi, so New Delhi, ah, uh, the people in New Delhi are spend spending fifty-eight percent extra time when they are stuck in traffic. Moving on to the next question, so Reserve Bank of India has removed charges in two banking services, which are they? So there are two services on which this banking charges have been removed, and it's a good news for every customer when the bank passes this on to the customers. So the charges have been removed from RDGS NEFT, which are two methods of transferring funds. Uh, what stands more important in this question is that you must know about the RDGS and NEFT, and we have discussed about this RDGS and NEFT uh, many times in our videos. uh once there was this news when rtgs timings have been extended to the maximum timing that is 6 pm earlier it was 4:30 pm now the timing has been extended to 6 pm now the charges have also been removed from the rtgs and nft transactions now the important question the important part of this question is that uh, there have been persistent demand 
by the customers and the banks as well to change the ATM charges and the fees. So for the ATM fee structure or we could say to study the ATM fee structure and the charges structure, a new committee has been set up. So they have decided to set up this new committee where they will be involving all the stakeholders under the chairmanship of CEO of Indian Banks Association. CEO of Indian Banks Association is going to head the committee which would look after the ATM charges and fee structure. So it's important to study about this committee as it is expected to submit its recommendation within two months. Also the composition would be laid out in one uh, or two weeks. So this is important to remember that uh, the charges have been removed from RTGS and NEFT and new committee has been formed up for ATM. The next question is a quite important question which is India's first metro project to extract power from waste to energy plant. So Delhi Metro that is DMRC it has become India's first ever project which has which will be receiving power generation from waste to energy plant. Now you might be thinking of what is this waste to energy plant. So the energy would be generated or they would be receiving approximately 2 megawatt of energy from a 12 megawatt capacity generator that is set up in the Ghazipur. So set up uh, electricity generation plant has been set up in Ghazipur and that would be used to uh, supply 2 megawatts of uh, electricity to DMRC that is Delhi Metro. So it's kind of an effort towards the eco-friendly or environment friendly network. Moving on to the next question, so who has been elected as the next president of the United Nations General Assembly? Important question. So currently Maria is the uh, president of the United Nations General Assembly but now replacing or succeeding Maria, Tijani Mohammed Bande, he is going to uh, be the next president for the United Nations General Assembly. So it's very important to remember regard the uh, important persons, the important personals of this United Nations or we could say the international organizations, they can come in the examination. Though uh, there are chances, there are less chances for the static question to come with respect to these. But if they have been changed recently, then they can come in the examination. Now the question for you, where are the headquarters of United Nations located? So you need to mention your answer in the comment section below that where are the headquarters of United Nations located. And as per this question, the president is Tijani Muhammad Bande. Next question is who has been elected as the ninth president of FIFA? Quite static question and nothing much to discuss in this question. So Gianni Infantino has been appointed as the or elected as the ninth president of FIFA, the football federation. The next question is what are the names of the two so this is very very important question make sure to learn about this question or remember this question so what are the names of the two new committees which have been formed or added in the cabinet after the PM Modi reconstituted the cabinet committees so currently there are eight committees so what happened on the first day on the cabinet meeting that two new committees have been added and there has been reconstitutions in reconstitution in the previous committees. Now you need to answer that what are the names of the two new committees added it's very important question to remember. So the name of the two committees are the Committee on Investment and Growth and the Committee on Employment and Skill Development. So these are the two committees which have been uh, added. So after the addition of these two committees, the Investment and Growth and the Committee on Employment and Skill Development, there are now eight committees total in the cabinet. And what are the name of the other committees in the cabinet? So two are these committees. The other eight are, so one is on appointments, accommodation, security, economic affairs, parliamentary affairs, political affairs and the skill development. So investment and growth, skill development, appointments, accommodation, security, economic affairs, parliamentary affairs and political affairs. So these are the name of the eight total committees which are there and there have been some reconstitutions in these committees. The constitutions of the constitution of these two committees would be soon announced. What you need to remember as of now the total eight committees of the cabinet. 
Now it's time for you to answer in the comment section. It's quite difficult question, but I have put up the uh, image of the person over here. So who has been named as the world's first billionaire rapper by Forbes? So what you need to do, you need to mention your answer in the comment section below that what is the name of the person who has been named as the world's first billionaire rapper and that too by Forbes. Giving you one hint, Drake is not the answer of this question. So you need to answer, mention your answer in the comment section. I hope you are preparing well for the NABAD examination. Good luck for your examination and do not forget to download the full current affairs from the website which are available on www.anujindal.in. Also subscribe to our channel Anujindal if you haven't subscribed yet and press the bell icon as well to receive the notification of the videos uh, when they are posted. Thank you so much for watching the video.